Hi, I'm Melissa. I'm the Director of Quality Control and Training. I would give OBS a rating of 5 out of 5 stars. For more information, click below. We've used uh, Filmora Wondershare. It didn't fulfill the same needs as OBS. Um, we've used um, some proprietary software from various uh, hardware video switchers. Um, like uh, PTZ Optic software, like Vadios software, um, like um, RTI software, um, but OBS has consistently been the easiest to use and integrate with other uh, softwares. It's a phenomenal free product. Uh, like I said, it integrates well with other platforms such as Zoom, such as Vimeo, YouTube, or even embedding the feed uh, directly into a, um, a client's website or streaming feed. Um, it is uh, a fantastic, you know, um, once you only need one monitor, you don't need to have dual monitors in order to utilize all the benefits, all the features. And it is uh, really intuitive. As a new user, it took very little playing around. Like I said, it was, it's an extremely intuitive software. Um, it was just a matter of learning one or two key features that I wasn't familiar with, uh, i.e. virtual camera or virtual video outputs versus um, a hardwired um, output um, and how to utilize those as needed. But um, OBS, incredibly intuitive extremely easy for beginners. That's actually why my company started using it because we train um, end users, uh, oftentimes very new users uh, to this type of technology on how to use various products. And OBS is consistently um, a phenomenal case um, software to use for in such cases with, uh, with brand new users. You can't go wrong with OBS. It's free. It is... It gives you what you pay for, but it's also more than that. It definitely goes beyond the capabilities of what you would expect from a free software. Uh, video quality is excellent. Audio quality is excellent. Um, and having a platform in which you can switch between both hardwired camera inputs and various streaming inputs is a phenomenal tool to have in your arsenal.